In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Gallery app on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett where I help tech work for you and let's jump right into the gallery and show you how to use this and show you some really cool tips and tricks. So when you first jump in here, you are on the pictures tab. So the pictures tab will show you a chronological order of all of the photos that you have taken. If you go over here to the albums, you'll see the different folders that your phone has. And then here you can go to stories where you have all the stories that your phone has automatically created based on your, your location, the different types of albums that you've taken, as well as videos and pictures and put those all in together. So let's start right over here in the pictures section. So right here at the top, you will see this little notification that will give you some tips on how you can use the gallery. So one of them is if you take a screenshot on a web page, it will actually store the URL of that web page so you can easily go back. So here on this screenshot, I can click go to URL and that will automatically jump to the website that I snapped that screenshot on. But if I go back here, um, this is saying if I wanna protect my files, I can use the secure folder and I'll show you guys how to do that later. So I'm gonna close it for now. Uh, but here we have the date in the top left hand corner and then over here we have the address. So if you have location enabled, it will actually pull the address into the photo. So let me show you a cool thing you can do here. So I was recently in New York and if I wanna see these photos where I actually took them, all I need to do is click New York over here and it will pull up the map view. So I can now see all of the photos I took in New York and where I was. So I can go down in here and see the photos that I took right there on the Brooklyn Bridge. I can open them up and then select each photo individually and look at it that way, which is really cool. So it's handy. You don't have to remember exactly every spot you took the photo. Okay, so here are all the photos that I took in New York and it will show the different areas I was at. But if I click the view all, that will actually then show every photo that I have taken and where those photos are located. So I can go through and quickly find what I am looking for or the location that that photo would have been based, which is pretty cool. So then um, just when you're going through this, you can pinch here. So if I pinch, you have a smaller view so you can quickly see by month or by date faster. Uh, if I zoom in, so I pinch, I can zoom in further and I can see the pictures with a little more detail. So if I'm scrolling down right here, there's this little button that I can click and it will automatically take me back up to the top of the page. But let's say I go to a picture that I want to see more in detail. So I can open this up. Here it gives me a few options. Bixby Vision allows me to search the image to see if Bixby can find anything. So here I could click image. It will look through Pinterest to see if it can find anything, maybe more about this wall. Or if it was a object or an item that I took a picture of, I can click shopping and it'll actually search for that item. So I'm gonna click image real quick. Let's see if it found this wall on Pinterest. Nope, it just found a picture of other guys. So I don't look like them, oh well. So let's go back. Um, now let's check out the auto adjust. So if I click this, it made the photo a little more vibrant, which looks really great actually. Um, but if you want to, you can go in, let's say I turn that off, I can go and edit the photo myself. And here I have a few different options. I can do transform where I can instantly change the rotation. I can flip it horizontally, vertically. I can change the aspect ratio. So maybe I want a square photo, four by three, wide screen shot. I can do all that right there. If I want to, I can change the perspective. So there you can see that it gives me a little, uh, more look like a flat image that I've turned there, or I can change it this way. So you just gotta play around depending on what kind of look you are looking for. And then I can click reset and it will take the photo back to where I want it to go. Then if I go back here, I can change the tone. So you have all these right there. I can adjust the brightness. I can do the exposure. So if you don't know what these mean, you just need to play with each of them one at a time to see um, what you would like in your photo. And of course here, I have totally messed up the photo, made it look crazy. Um, so if I want to, I can just click the X and it will take it back to default. I also have up here, redo or undo at the top. Um, we have some advanced options here. I can get really into how the photo looks with the colors that we're seeing or not seeing. You can do all that right here in the gallery. 
Um, so also if a portrait here, it found my face, I can brighten my face up. So you can see I have the brighten tool there. Let's say I wanna shorten my face. I don't see what that does. I can make my eyes bigger if I want to, uh, slim my face. So these are all features within the camera itself, but you can actually do this after, ooh, and this is really cool. You can actually fix the red eye of a photo. So I've seen that a few times where I wanted to fix that. You can do that right here in the edit options. Uh, but then I can also use decorations. So maybe I wanna spice this photo up a bit. Um, let's go in here and I can add a picture on top of a picture. So say I have another photo that I want to add in here. I just select it and then it's going to add that right in. So I have that photo, then I can click stickers and I wanna add this one right here. And then I can choose some labels. So let's just choose this first one and then I can add a little title there so we can say, hey, we were in New York. So if I ended up placing that where I don't want it to go, I can just click undo up here at the top. It will remove the stickers and I can start over again. Maybe I wanna add a cover. So let's say I wanna blur out part of the image. I can do that. You have all those options as well as drawing right in here, which is pretty fun to do. So that's how you edit a photo in the gallery. Now let's go back and I want to go to the albums here. So in the albums view, it's gonna show each category that you have. So here I have two camera albums. So one of them is the camera of what is on the actual phone. So you will see just a camera icon. But right here, the second album is actually the camera stored on the SD card. So you see a little SD card right next to it. That means that all the photos are on the SD card in this album. So let's say I wanted to move some of the photos from one album to the other. If I go into here and I select a few of these, so I can just hold down and click on each one, or a cool trick is if I hold down on one and drag, you'll see that it selects all those photos. So now I can click the menu and I can click copy to album or move to album. So if I select move to album, and select this camera, it will then move those photos out of here and into this album, and we can see them right here at the bottom. So that's kind of how you can jump back and forth between photos. So if I want to add, here I have a family album. If I want to add some more pictures of my family to there, so I got the pictures of the girls here. If I wanna add them to the family, I can do it two ways. One, I can hold on and click menu and move to album or copy or I can actually just select the ones I want, click and hold, and then now I am able to drag and drop them right into that album, and it's gonna give me a few options. I can either cancel, I can copy or move. So let's say I want to just move them right over, because I, I don't wanna click copy too often as that will duplicate photos, but if you are transferring from the camera to say the SD card, I would encourage you to use the copy feature to make sure that everything transferred before you delete. So now we can go into the family album and here I have all those pictures in one. Okay, so let's go back into the camera album here and I wanna clean this up a bit. So I found a few pictures that I no longer need. I can open those up. I don't really need those at all. So again, I'm gonna click and hold, drag those five photos and then I'm gonna come up here and just click delete. So then when you're viewing this, uh, you can actually instantly hide the different albums. You just swipe over and it will hide the albums. If I swipe back from the right, it will pull up those albums again. Down here, you'll notice that there's more albums. So these are albums that are on the SD card that I don't go to often, so they're showing up under the more category. Again, I can swipe over. I can pinch these to see a fuller view and to see more photos at once. And then I can zoom in again to look at all those photos. So now if I want to select a bunch, move them all over, I can do that to any folder and you get this really cool effect when you're doing it. Again, drag and drop works really well right here. Here in the albums view, I can also pinch and zoom and make those albums a little bit bigger so they are easier to see. And then there are my more albums so I can open that up and look at those as well. If you want to delete an entire album, 
you can hold down on it and there you can delete it or you can rename it as well. And if you want to go in and add a bunch of photos to a new album, let's say I select a bunch of these, I can go and click copy to album. And if I do that, I can say create new album and then I can say BB for Brooklyn Bridge and I say, do I want this on the internal storage or SD card? So you can do all that in the albums. So here in the stories tab, it has automatically pulled different places that I've been to and days that I've taken photos and compiled them into a little story. So here I'm gonna go into the Brooklyn Bridge story and it will automatically take the photos I took there and put them into a little album. You can share this with other people, uh, but before you share it, you might wanna customize it a bit, maybe delete any photos you don't want. Here I can view it as a grid or a timeline so you can see the date and um, when you share it, you can see if people like it or comment, you have that all right in here. Uh, but one of the cool things is I can actually play a video that it automatically has created. So let's do that just by clicking the play button right here. Okay, and if you're like, well, my trip didn't sound like that, so I wanna make this a little bit more impactful. So down here, you have a few options. I can do themes, effects, music, and timeline. So I'm gonna click themes, and I'm gonna go over here to we, the travel theme. There are a bunch, there you go. That sounds a little more upbeat, a little more friendly. So I'm probably gonna keep that one. If I want to, I can go and change the different effects that pop up on screen. So I can have it do any of these and you just select and it will change that. Uh, if I wanna change the exact music that it's using, I can go into here on the music tab. There are already pre-selected tracks that you can use or you can download a few more. So here on the timeline, I can see exactly what picture is going to pop up and what video. So maybe I find a picture I don't want in there. I can actually just delete it and it will remove it from the little video. If you add a video in here, you can actually go in and trim it. You'll see a trim option where you can cut the video down so it's not as long. Once you're done, you click the save and then it will make it a file that you can share with anybody and you have a really nice uh, video of your trip or whatever you have done. If you would like to turn off these stories so they're not created anymore, you can come up here to the settings menu and then settings and then here you can say automatically create stories and turn that off. So you have a few different options there. You can turn off the URL and here I'm allowing my stories to be shared. And then if you want to, you can actually back up your photos to Samsung Cloud uh, on certain devices and uh, you get about 15 gigabytes free. One more cool thing that you want to know about the gallery is if you go into the search button right here. So in the search, you have it broken down by your location, uh, people that you have in your photos, documents, camera mode, so if I've taken it on just a normal image, video, burst shot, selfies, you have all of those right here in the camera modes, and then scenery, so it's automatically gonna pull together some of your scenery. Here it's showing different buildings. So one of these photos is not like the other right here. I can hold down on it, click the menu, and then I have remove from results, so you don't see that photo anymore on the scenery. So that's how you can sort and uh, here in the people, it will show all the photos of me pulling them all up right there. You can actually name who they are, makes it really easy and convenient to sort all of your photos. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoy this video all about how to use the gallery on your Galaxy S8. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love you to click the subscribe button so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.